In this screencast, we're going to look at uh, creating a profile or a cross section using a line. We'll, we can also identify distance using a line and uh, calculate local relief. So first of all, let's uh, select our contour overlay. So once you have uh, your New South Wales globe layer added, we need to select contour. So this is obviously quite useful. We can see the topographic features as represented by our contour lines. We have here a map of Loriton and North Brother. So let's um, follow my cursor up to the top and click on the Add a Path uh, button. So this will bring up this uh, little box. Just push that over to the side for now. So you can see here how I have um, this little cursor, so where you want to start your cross section or your line, you need to just left click. Okay, so your line can have multiple uh, dots or just one. So in this case, we're just going to use one. So we're going to um, create a cross section of North Brother uh, running from north to south. Okay. So when you are finished, you need to uh, bring your little box here on the left over to the middle where you can edit uh, this box. So let's give that a name. So north, south, cross section, north brother. Okay, so we can obviously add a link or a description or web image, but we're not too worried about that. We can change the color of our line, so let's give that a nice bright pink color. So our line is now pink, but that's a little bit difficult to see. So let's up the width, which makes it more visible. Okay, the view, we're not too worried about that. The altitude, we can leave it clamped to the ground, but we're interested in measurements. We need to uh, select kilometers or meters, whatever you, you believe would be relevant. In this case, Let's go with meters. So I've got close to 5,000 meters. Let's press OK. We can say, uh, see here on the left that it's saved to my places. So one of the first things you can do is right click on that and select show elevation profile. So this function creates a cross section for you. So we can see here um, the start of our cross section. Uh, the, the most northern part of our cross section starts at about 16 meters above sea level. The highest point is roughly 463 meters. Uh, our southern, the southern end of our cross section, we also have a height of 16 meters. So calculating our local relief, our local relief is calculated by identifying the highest and lowest points along our uh, transect or our cross section and taking the lowest elevation away from the highest. That difference in height would be our local relief. So in this case, 463 take away 16 meters. So creating an elevation profile is quite useful. We can obviously uh, get a 2D representation of the uh, topography of that landscape by looking at the contour lines, but this creates a um, 2D representation where it's kind of like cutting a cake down the middle. You can see the, the characteristics of the um, landform. So we can look at the maximum slope and gradient, which is measured, the average slope along our, along our cross section, the distance, which is 5.16 kilometers, and the loss and gain. So that's a really useful tool that you can use to um, create a cross section.